Okay, so the question, programming for OSCP and bug bounties, is it necessary? No, you do not need to be a programmer. You do not need to know how to write any code, but what you do need to know how to do is read it. So you need to be able to read through Python code, JavaScript. Um, you need to be able to just be able to read through it, know what it's doing and what's going on. Uh, maybe not exactly this program. Uh, I don't do a good job saving variables, and I wrote this just yesterday just for this video. I was looking for other tools. I wrote a tool a while back that will go out to GitHub and it will open up a repo, pull out all the information, and it will look for um, sensitive information such as uh, passwords, API keys, just stuff that shouldn't be there. Uh, this little program I wrote actually only looks for the word pass um, right here. If pass is in the HTML, then it's going to pull it down for us. Uh, if I was going to make this more functional, I would add a lot more in here. But I'm doing this just so you can see how programming is going to help you. So when you read through this, you can see what it's what exactly is going on. Um, I'm going to jump through it. But what we would do here is this function gets called, and it's going to go through a, every file that ends in pi, XML, or TXT. So you don't need to know how to write the code, but let's say I wanted this program or this tool, I found it on GitHub, and I want to run it for my own, and I want it to look for uh, JavaScript files. Uh, what I would do is just paste this in. This needs to be an elif, and I would just delete this pi and type in JS. Now it's going to go through, it's going to look for pi, JS, XML, and maybe I wanted to look for PHP or um, JSON files. And what you can do is you can just keep adding these in and you can edit this tool. When you do the OSCP, if you ever go for the OSCP, you will have to be able to copy and paste multiple exploits together or maybe make small edits. So this is something you'll need to know how to do if you want to be a penetration tester as well. You don't need to know how to write code, but you will need to know how to edit. So uh, the way this tool works is pretty simple. I made this fake GitHub page. You come out here, we'd run the program, we paste in the repo or the page we want to go after. Uh, Selenium is going to go out and scrape the whole thing for us and it's going to tell us, I need a space right here, that uh, is really bothering me. Where is that printing out at? Repo found right here. Now this won't be smashed together. Um, you would say if I need to go to this page, it tells us the word password has been found with admin. And then I actually had this print with um, regular expressions, a bunch of stuff afterwards. So that way, if it's like an input field, I don't want to be like, see a ton of password spots for an input field or how they're uh, program is running the password. So I just have it pulled down everywhere that password is found. And then the next, um, however many character it is, characters it is until the period right here. Actually, it's right there. And so uh, that's why there's all this extra mumbo jumbo here. Um, if I was actually going to use this, I would have it print out the first 100 characters before the word password as well. So that way I can see exactly what's going on with this password and see if this uh, key or the password or if this password admin actually does anything So that's kind of how uh, this works and the way you would go about editing it and editing code So I hope this was helpful just for your own studies Like you will be able to go on from here come across programs like this and then be able to edit them and use them as your own so with that I am going to end this video